Hey everyone, Technoment here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to fix your iPhone if you're not receiving push notification, especially after the iOS 18 update. You wanna follow all of these tips to fix it, so let's get started. The very first thing you wanna check out is to ensure that in your setting, you actually have the push notification turned on. So in your settings, simply go into notifications, and then what you're gonna do is ensure that notification is turned on. So either one of these is turned on, stack or a list option is turned on. And then you're gonna follow down here for each of the app, you wanna ensure that if you want notification from that app, it is listed to show up here. For example, for calendar, I have turned off right now. If I want notification from calendar, I need to ensure that it is turned on here. We wanna select the type of notification alert we want. And then if we want any sound, any preview, all of those settings are turned on like the default one, which I would usually keep. Now, if you see a setting, for example, that is turned on here, maybe it is already turned on. You don't have to do anything. Just turn it off and then turn it back on just to reinitialize. So if something broke, it'll go ahead and fix that. And just go down the list for all the apps, right, that you want notification. If it's already on, turn it off and turn it back on. If it's off, of course, turn it on if you want notification from that app. So go down the list for all of the apps and do that. Now, the next thing you wanna go ahead and do in your settings, you're gonna go to general and then go down here to background app refresh. And you wanna ensure that the background app refresh is turned on either uh, Wi-Fi and cellular. What basically means is apps, if you want push notification, they need to be work in the background sometimes for you to give that notification. So you're gonna review the list, make sure it's turned on. If you see an app that's not turned on, you can go ahead and turn it all on. If you don't want an app back refresh or notification, you can always turn it off here, which will save battery. Keep in mind, this does tend to take up a battery. So if you have apps that you don't want to run in the background, refreshing constantly, you wanna turn it off to preserve your battery. Now, the next thing you wanna check out, it's gonna be if you have do not disturb or focus mode is turned on. So pull down the control menu here and where it says focus, you're gonna tap on that. Ensure it's not accidentally do not disturb is not turned on just like that. As you can see, it says on, you tap it to turn off or any of these other mode, focus mode that can potentially stop you from getting any notification to prevent you from maybe getting distracted or getting alerts that you don't want. So it could be a focus mode that's impacting your push notification. Now, the next thing you wanna do, if you see that isn't the issue, it's gonna be moving on to make sure your phone's Wi-Fi is working or cellular data is working. So make sure you're connected to either Wi-Fi or cellular data. And uh, this is gonna be important, especially if you need apps require connection to the internet to work correctly. Now, the next thing you wanna go ahead and check out and do is follow this method. You're gonna quickly press and release the volume up volume down and then hold on to the side button until the screen goes completely black and the apple logo appears so i'll do volume up volume down and then I hold on to the side button just like that and you're going to want to keep on holding until the screen goes completely black and the apple logo appears do not slide to power off like it says that will just be a normal shutdown this method will ensure that the software is completely turned off and reloaded just like that again very quickly pressing and releasing volume up volume down one after another before holding on to the side button and this will make sure it's not a software related issue impacting your iphone notifications not working so once you're back on let's go ahead and check by going into our iphone here and the next thing you want to go ahead and check out if you need to update your apps if you're especially updated to the latest version of the ios you want to go into your app store and make sure you're connected to internet again you're going to tap on your profile and you can see here, all of these apps that require update, I have 22 of them. I can tap on update all and update all of the app to the latest version that's compatible for the iOS, or you can individually select them if you don't wanna update all of them. If you wanted to update a specific one, you can just tap on it and then update those individually if you are not getting notification from those app itself. Now, along with that, after you have done that and updated your apps and you're still not getting the update, the next thing to do is delete and reinstall app. So in order to do that, you're gonna press and hold, remove app, delete the app, and then click on delete. And of course, you're gonna go back to the app store, search for the app that you deleted, and then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and 
reinstall that app and that will go fix it. Keep in mind, deleting and reinstalling the app isn't going to delete your account. So once you're downloaded, you just sign back in and check out. Sometimes you'll get a notification that says allow app to give you a notification. You're going to make sure that you click on yes or allow app to send you notification, which is important, especially when you download an app. And then along with that, the next thing you want to ensure is in the settings, tap on battery. You want to ensure your phone is not accidentally on low power mode. And the reason why it is when your phone is low power mode, it reduces certain functionality, like the ability to fetch mail or give you notifications. So you're going to turn that off. And along with that, you want to ensure your battery percentage is above 20%. If it's lower than 20, sometimes certain functionality will not work. So ensure it's charged up. Low power mode is turned off. And then the next thing you want to go ahead and do in your settings, go to general, look for software updates, and see if there's a new update out. Sometimes a previous update might have caused issues, and it's always good to update your phone to the latest version to fix any of those issues. And by following all these steps, I hope you're able to fix the push notification on your phone. If so, please click on the like and subscribe button. Also, if you found a better way to fix it, do share it in the comment section. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.